Emily and today I'm headed to the Julian Farrell salon to get a $1,000 haircut. That's right, $1,000 for a haircut and that's before the full power hour treatment which includes getting my hair colored and my nails done. So obviously this is outside of my price range but celebs like Kate Moss have gotten the cut. My main goal for the day is to investigate why and how this haircut could be worth so much money. We met with Julian Farrell himself in the VIP room of his salon in New York City. Well, Julian, I'm so excited to be here today. Thank you so much. I can't wait for you to just transform me. I'm glad you came. You have the best hair, Thank you. the best face, and the best eyes. You're wonderful. So, Thank you. this spot here, right now, you're closing down. Mm -hmm. We're going to reopen it. I love the length, and I'm glad you say you haven't cut it for three months. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Okay. But we're going to make this part to make sure that your eyes and cheekbones can very highlight. And you know, hair is all about proportion. Okay. And what we do, we build a volume into a space. The head is a space, and we have to build the volume around it. So we're gonna make you look like a, a movie star. And I have so. to ask your professional opinion about something. Do you like the bangs? I do. Okay, good. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, okay. we're gonna change the bangs. You're gonna change because the Because the banks, right now, it's almost too quiet. Okay. Too shy. Okay. So I, we need to have a banks with like a little bit more like a, like almost like a curtain banks uh -huh. to make sure that they, that embrace your beauty. Well, wonderful, I That's cannot wait. That's a, a deal. deal. A deal, absolutely. Good. For $1,000, Julian promises clients to bring out their natural features. But there's more than one reason he charges a full grand for his services. Today my haircut is a thousand dollars. It's because a I have very little time. Number two is because uh, when I do a haircut, you don't need to come every two weeks to do it unless you want to. For a woman, the hair can grow for six months, and the hair will be cut from A to Z, where there is always a line, so the volume grow together. And I wasn't just at the Julian Farrell salon for the haircut. I had signed up for the full power hour treatment, including color and a mani-pedi, which is a favorite package deal for the salon's celebrity clients. Oh, this is for me. <laughs> wow, I feel like a princess. I've never felt like this before. This is the power hour and it feels powerful. You know, I sat down, everyone just swooped in and we just started. It's fantastic. I've never had this many people pampering me at the same time. So someone who's like a celebrity or something, this is how they feel all the time? Yes. I began to realize I had no idea what was actually happening to my hair. Julian and his team had taken one look at me and swooped me in to transform me based on their expert opinions. As I lay back in the Italian massage chair, it was becoming clear that I wasn't only paying for the ultimate luxury salon day, but I was also able to fully put my trust in the hands of top-notch professionals. And so at 14, I start here, and uh, what I really learned is when I understand like geometry, and I never went to school, but I was extremely good in math, and when I understood like a haircut is about an architect, it's about the geometry in space, I became fascinated about it. Mostly what's happened when uh, you leave the hairdresser, you love it, it looks amazing, it's big, it's great. And then you go home, it's like, and now what? So it's very important to understand how to do the layer, how to actually adjust the layer to make sure that you got the lift, but you don't take away the lift from the bottom. Because if we want to keep the length, we don't want to have strangly hair as well. So when I go home, this is going to be so that I can manage it better. I want you to love me tomorrow too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? I layer from short to long. And what, how should a good haircut make someone feel? Well, you're going to tell me. <laughs> so now I'm going to make you stand, please. Sure. Because when you stand, the two feet touch the ground at the same time, and you're not crooked. Wow, I can already tell it's going to look phenomenal. 
I cannot wait. the banks follow, not uh, going back, yeah. not forward. So instead of in, out. Out. Okay, that, okay, that's blowing my mind. That is something I never thought to do before and it looks so good. Somehow it looks longer. Like my hair the almost looks... The, the volume of change. Yeah, it's unbelievable. My face feels like it changed. I feel like alive. I feel like I can see myself. Just, oh my goodness. I have so much to go do now. I feel like I have to go do everything. Okay, so it has been about a month since my haircut with Julian, and I would just like to say I am sorry, Julian. I put my bangs right back in front, but I would also like to say that I've been having consistently some of the best hair days of my life. I wake up in the morning and my hair falls naturally in a way that I absolutely love, and I've never been able to say that before. So while the changes in my haircut were subtle, I really feel like it brought out the best of my hair that I've ever seen. The volume is growing out. My hair is bigger than I've ever seen it fall naturally before. And people can definitely notice that I've done something just a little different, but they aren't quite sure what. And people will say, why pay $1,000 for subtle changes? I can totally see why celebrity clients would come to Julian and want to look just like the best version of themselves without looking like they've done a whole lot to really change. I feel like my hair has never just looked better as it is, and I've always struggled with loving my hair. So I am definitely looking forward to spending many, many more months with this haircut, just enjoying how it's growing out before finally returning to my normal everyday salon. <laughs>